Do you want to improve your flexibility or mobility? Well, some new research has come out that will get you stretching in a completely different but more effective way. We're gonna go through the most effective stretches you can be doing for each area of the body, but for it to make sense why we are choosing these different stretches, we first need to look at what the research is suggesting. It was research done in 2021, and it showed that strength training is as effective as stretching for improving range of motion. Not the most exciting that they both help, However, it actually changes everything. What that means is now you have an option that can improve muscle mass, bone density, balance, function, and range of motion while also decreasing injury risk rather than something just improving range of motion. So knowing that this is a better way and taking this research into consideration, we will go through all parts of the body revealing alternative, more effective ways to stretch using this approach compared to the classic stretching typically performed. So let's get into it, starting from the top with the upper traps. A classic for this would be a seated stretch where you hold your hand in place, slightly lean off to the opposite side while letting your shoulder relax down and side flex your neck to the opposite side. And this is definitely one we have recommended in the past. But a better alternative would be to have a similar position, but instead holding onto a weight and let that pull into a deeper stretch. Then lifting the weight into a shrug and a slow lowering and spending time in the stretch. You won't have to be going super heavy on any of these exercises. The aim isn't reaching failure but improving mobility. But you do want to have a high enough weight to feel a good stretch. Another point to make is do not force into these stretches. Gradually try and improve range over time. Next would be the upper back to stretch, specifically the rhomboids. What might have been done before, just holding onto something and letting the shoulder blade relax forward to get a stretch, also a good one, but a better way to do this would be to set up on a cable machine and doing a single arm row. Again, spending more time in that stretch position, but then also involving that within the exercise and pulling back. Following from this, let's look at the chest. This is a more classic exercise that people will like to be doing, but doing it in a slightly different way. The main way you'd normally see a chest stretch done is against a wall or in a doorway, but utilizing flies for this is a better option. Have it so the arms are directly in line with the way the weight is going, not too high or low. You don't have to be going heavy on this, but spending time in that stretch for a few seconds and then coming back up. Next is the lats. A great one for this classically is holding onto something, leaning the body into the side you want to stretch and pointing your bum towards the opposite direction. Instead, you can recreate that using weights. Set up a bench in front of a cable machine with a slight incline, have your arm reaching over and your legs on the opposite side of the bench, and then pull back towards you and repeat, really making the most of it in that stretched position. One for the lower back is a side stretch to get that QL muscle. Classically, this is done with just a hand over the head, side bending and reaching to the other side. A way to make this more effective and introduce more strength work to the stretch would be to do this on a hyperextension machine and side bending and reaching the arm over to stretch, but in a loaded position and then returning to the start position. Be gradual with this and if not used to it, don't go fully into the deeper stretch position, build up into it. However, if it is too hard, then try a standing side bend with weight in the opposite hand, which can be graded up much more gradually. Another area for stretching is the hip flexors. Now, the classic ones for this, the couch stretch, but an alternative for this isn't that it will be directly loading the hip flexor, but you'll get more out of doing this than just the stretch alone. And that would be doing Bulgarian split squats. So have the leg far back and go deep into the movement to get the stretch, but while also getting a great leg workout at the same time. Another classic stretching area is the adductors. And we have two options for this one. Classics for this would be sitting with the soles of your feet together and pushing down on your knees, 
or having a lunge out to the side. Better options for that would be Cossack squats, where you're basically alternating between lateral lunges, or doing a high Copenhagen plank. So having your leg up high, allowing a stretch as you lower, and then lifting back up. Moving on to the hamstrings. Now, the classic for this is a standing hamstring stretch, or a very common one we'd see would be where you're on the floor and reaching out, pulling on your toes. That is not an effective hamstring stretch anyway. And we've done a video on this, which I'll link at the end explaining why. But a better classic alternative is a Romanian deadlift. Here, using a barbell, send the hips back, keep the back straight to maximize that hamstring stretch, and keep the knees bent, but still, and feel the stretch on the hamstring. This is a great one. Again, if you're not used to doing this, start it light and work to build it up. Not only is it a great stretch for the hamstring, but also for strengthening the whole posterior chain. Next, the quads. Now the classic boring standing up and holding your foot to the bum is out. And instead, try a reverse Nordic. So for this, you want to be on your knees and you can have your feet flat or be on your toes. Try both and see which is most comfortable for you. Then squeeze your bum and keep your hips as far forward as you can with your body in a straighter line as you can manage and slowly lean backwards. You'll get a good quad stretch, but also a great strength exercise. And as with the others, just go into this gradually if you're finding it difficult. Next is the calves. Classically, this would be done with hands on the wall and the leg back with the heel on the floor to stretch. But to get the same together with the strengthening, let your heel hang off a step and then do reps raising up. But spend just a bit longer than usual in that stretch position. If that's too hard, then you can do it on a double leg instead. One we have missed from the list is glutes. A classic for this is a pigeon stretch, but a difficult one to translate into a strength variation. So if you do have any good glute strengthening exercises that also help with range of motion, then please just let us know in the comments below. Now, I previously mentioned about the hamstrings and not doing a classic stretch that we always see done. And I explain all in this video here that describes why it likely isn't actually stretching your hamstring. And there's another reason why the Romanian deadlift shown in this video is a better option.